Good morning, Missy Gang Gang. What's popping, everybody? It's Eagle Drizzy. Welcome back to Drizzy Radio. Grab a cup of tea. Let's just straight into this, Miss. But first of all, if you're new here and you want to join the Missy Gang, kindly hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that you know whenever we are to upload. Honey, we go rant. Okay, we go on rant. Okay. Uh, there's something I saw trending yesterday. And people were talking about it in regards to Sound City nomination, okay? People felt like it was a little bit unfair because Nigerians have leverage, okay? We can't blame them because they're working pretty hard, okay? Their music is good. The music videos are giving. So we can't blame them. But all in all, why make this a legend, okay? Awards, an African awards. Well, you're going to place 90% percent nigerians in there put five percent of other african countries in there squeezing for this five percent but then 90 percent of the nominations come from nigeria and the names are heavyweights honey i don't even see i don't even see anybody squeezing in in there not unless not unless the numbers are fixable Okay, then the, 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 the mawads will be bought, okay? Just like we saw the ones, the free ma, yes, I still uh, double down 10 toes on that one, that a free mas are not legit, legit, because that lady, there's no way on her that she will win against them heavyweights that she had on the category. Well, what happened is, Sound City, Sound City, yeah, Nigerian Awards, whatever, it's like a radio station, they released their own, um, they released their own nomination, uh, they had the best act of the year, best artist of the year, best female artist, best male artist, uh, MVP, digital, uh, whatever. They had just a couple of categories. And if you go one by one on them categories, you will realize that 90%, 90 to 90%, 95% of the nominations come from Nigeria, right? I don't have any problem with Nigerians, you guys. I'm just stating facts, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're working hard. They're working good. But why can't they just place us where Americans are placing them? Nigerians know that they have numbers compared to Tanz um, to Nigerians, right? So now Americans will look for certain categories where they know that uh, Americans don't participate, right? Or it's not that competitive and fixing Nigerians in there to at least for them to have like a leverage or for them to stand a chance but when you try and uh, put on um artist of the year with people like Wizkid, Burner Boy, Thames, uh, Rema who had uh, one of the best songs of 2022 is it 2021 come down uh, we have Kiddy right um Sake is from uh, South Africa uh Asake he had the best 2022 year. If you don't, uh, I feel like she's, he's being tough, sabotage a little bit, but that's topic for another time. And we are going to be given Zuchu and Diamond Platinums from East Africa. Honestly, here, I don't see Diamond taking it, I leave alone Zuchu. Okay, I don't see Diamond Platinums taking it against the Banner Boy and also uh with kid because banner boy had the best year okay i don't think they'll give it to banner boy either uh because they want also the up-and-coming artists to feel like they belong and they can win these awards right i feel like the person that can really really surprise that i see them giving it to either asake or Rema, and we will come here and discuss this once again, okay? I see them giving this one to Rema or Asaki, okay? That is just my opinion, okay? I want to listen, I want to hear what you have to say about that down in the comment section. Who are you rooting for? Who will you be voting for? Uh, between uh, African Artists of the Year, right? That is the most important one. A uh, Whiskey, Burner Boy, Diamond Platinum, Skiddy, Msake, uh, Asake, Rema, Kiss Daniel, Thames, and Zuchu. No, I have actually three. Thames, ah, uh, no. It's Rema, Kiss Daniel, and uh, Asake. Those three, 
one of them is going to take it definitely but i i, I don't know why i feel so confident when it comes to rema rema had the best year asaki had I and mean, i can't even take okay and also when you take a look at mvp of the year right milk mvp of the year they placed in banner boy whiskey dasake davido diamond platinum focalistic kiddy omale rema and also king promise on females it's um thames iris star uh gaki gaki or something like that and i can't pronounce her name that Ghanaian lady she has a couple of songs with omale uh we have a boo boo bule bule tiwa savage niniola um because oh my god some names um saki and also zuchu i wonder who this msaki is and I, I think i need to go and find out who msaki is not asaki there is a msaki a lady called msaki from uh southern africa but anyway i feel like it's so unfair i understand that nigerians are working pretty hard but then if you're going to put an award about africans why don't you like at least put in 40 percent of nigerians and then add other countries in there instead of putting 95 percent of africans and then 95 percent of nigerians and then you don't include you put include other africans in this five percent where everybody has to fight for it while not knowing if they will win or not but anyway it is what it is tell me what you think down in the comment section who are you rooting for when it comes to that if you want to check them out or you want to vote for your favorite act kindly go to sound city they will say you will see a link there of where you can follow go in there and vote i don't know if voted has started but anyway it is what it is that is just my opinion you can place yours down in the comment section tell me what you think about that do you actually agree with me that it's a little bit unfair okay because nigerians have a kickstart they have a fan fan page because fan base because once you're a nigerian you have a one song that goes viral honey the name being a nigerian artist the name i'm from nigeria and i'm an artist that is already a bar for you compared to any other country in africa but if you have a smash hit, I and mean, it's 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 so easy for it to go viral because people are excited about Nigerian music right now. But anyway, that is just my opinion. Tell me what you think down in the comment section. Do you feel like Diamond Platinums can squeeze a win for West East Africans or not? Uh, I, I'm, somebody must ask me, how about Kenyans? We have Wakadinali in MVP Male of the Year. We have Calligraph Jones. We have Rumbui and also Bien. Just go in there, go and scroll, and you will try to figure out where you want to place your vote at. But all I know is we will come back in here, and I want to hear what you have to say about that. Keep it classy, stay with this human next one. Bye-bye.